Hey everybody, it's Billy at Baker's Hill Tough. Got something really cool here, here with Danny Schaefer. We've had him in the magazine in the past. There's a lot of cool cars. And uh, man, we had something different. Uh, H&S Body, of course, does a lot of our uh, Back to Life series where they take uh, old cars or they've, they're part of reconstructing old cars and making them really cool. And man, look at this thing. I want to pan back here, Danny, and we're going to oh, get sure. into it here. Let me show them what we're working with here. What year is this? It's uh, 1970. 1970 Ford Bronco single cab, right? Half cab. Half cab. Yeah. Half cab. Wow. Yeah. You know what? You don't see very many of these. No, you sure don't. Uh, they, uh, they're pretty rare, actually, the half cabs. Really? Yeah. 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 I'm going to pan back here. Let's kind of do a... Now, how long have you worked on this thing? It's been a while, right? Because it was a long process. Yeah, it was quite a, quite a process. Probably probably a three-year deal. Three years. Yeah. 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 Now, did you see this thing somewhere? Like, what made you want a half cab? Because most uh, people would just get the full cab, right? I mean, yeah. you know. Well, I had had a full cab and for quite a while and sold it. So I thought, ah, I wanted to do another one, but I didn't want to do the same thing. So. Right. Hunted around and uh, found the half cab. I actually bought it from uh, a friend of mine. You did? So. Okay. All right, let's take a look at it. So let's start up here. Now there's some aftermarket suspension on here, right? You've kind of upgraded that a little bit. Right, yeah, we've lifted it. We put the, you know, the double shocked it. Yeah. How, uh, how much lift is on this thing? Do you have any idea? Uh, no, it's only about a three inch lift. Okay. It. Yeah. It's got 35s on the tires and raises it up a little bit. Yeah. Tried to keep it, you know, stocky looking. I yeah, kind of nostalgia like this, looking, yeah. Yeah, a little nostalgia looking, but yet yeah. with all the modern uh, amenities. Right. Uh, now you like the old school stuff, right? Yeah, I, mean, I do. You yeah. do. I mean, some of your. I think the last one we did was a Corvette, right? Yeah, it was a fifty-four. Fifty-four Corvette, Corvette of yeah. course. So you're, you definitely like the old school stuff. I'm gonna yeah. kind of go out to the front here, yeah. let them see this thing. Yeah, man, that's cool. Super cool. Now, wrap around. Now, you said you get a lot of uh, attention with this thing, right? A lot, a lot of attention. A lot of, pe a lot of people, you know, recognize what it is. You know, some yeah. of the stuff you do, they don't even, people don't even know what it is. But uh, <laughs> yeah. a lot of people, especially my age group, they, they remember the Broncos. And right. So they were, they were pretty popular. Yeah. We'll kind of go over here. Yeah, that is so nice. The man, the attention to detail, of course, H&S always has attention to detail and all their stuff that, you know, but this thing, man, I looked at it earlier, you had your detail guy out here, man, I think it's yeah. flawless. Yeah, H&S does a great job. They they really do. They uh, take the time and they're real, uh, you know, they're real uh, picky, I guess you'd say. And, uh, yeah. So they, I know this one right here, he'd been talking about, he wanted us to do for a long time. Maybe uh, he went the worries, man, I, I gotta get that Bronco in there, man. We gotta get that in there. And finally, you know, for him to bring it out to us, I was like, man, this thing, I could see why he was excited about it coming up. Now you got the spare wheel in the back, right? Yeah, I uh, probably don't need it, but I just <laughs> thought it would, uh, I don't know. I like, uh, I like the look of it in there. Yeah. Now is this a red bed coating? Uh-huh. It is. It's a red bed on here, the h and &S sprayed that in no kidding um, i like it man the yeah. roll bar and everything did that cut did the roll bar come on the four broncos did they come with that no they didn't we, uh, we had that custom built i actually i didn't really do it with the purpose of it being a roll bar i wanted something to mount the tire to okay that kind of yeah where it kind of went away you know yeah and, uh, so we basically built it for the tire more than anything yeah can we take a look at the interior because that is really nice too they got the retractable steps. That's kind of cool, right? Yeah, that was uh, um, direct off-road to put those on. We bought, uh, bought them for an F100 Ford uh -huh. and then cut them down. Oh, no kidding. And, uh, yeah, stuck them on there. Pat uh, Gerber, right? Pat Over, Gerber, yeah. yeah. They, uh, oh, man, that is nice. They do quite a bit to it, you know. Yeah. That Had is... a real handling problem with it at first. You know, they, their short wheelbase wanted to wander all over and couldn't figure it out couldn't figure it out and then uh, pat gerber figured it out and uh, uh changed the angle of uh, some of the bushing brackets in the front and got it where now it's just perfect so, really i was gonna say does it handles good on the street it handles great really because it, it does have a short wheelbase right yeah, yeah they weren't known for handling well but uh, this one really handles well now he nailed it yeah that's great they came stock with what 
This was a 302. Stock. There's a 302. 302. Okay. Uh -huh. And you stroked it. We stroked it and made a 347 out of it. 347, right? Wow. It's got aluminum heads. Does it use the same block and everything? You uh -huh. just put a stroke to it, so right. it's a little bit longer stroke? And, right. Yeah, okay. It's got aluminum, aluminum heads and uh, oh, you do? Okay. And headers. And yeah. Now, this is injected. Is that right? Is it? Is, yeah, it's, it's injected, it's right? It's fuel injected. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow. Now, this this was stock right here from the, like that? Yes, this was. Uh -huh. It was. Okay, that's what they came. Yeah. This is really clean. Man. Did, the firewall wasn't like that, was it, from the factory? No. No, we cleaned it up. <laughs> so, man, I know it didn't have MSD boxes on it, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. We changed it around. You know, I, I look at everything you have here, uh, Danny. Of course, you are a fan of old school cars. And I asked you this question, and we'll kind of go over it because it's interesting. You know, I went to the Street Rod Nationals, right? And it was a cool event. But one thing I noticed is that you didn't see a lot of young people there. And so the question I've, you know, I've, I've always wondered is that, is this is the hot rod culture going to be like what it is now or where it has been 20 years from now you know yeah no i don't think so at all it's it's everybody at the hot rod manuals is about had gray hair so it's uh yeah it's kind of a dying thing i think uh, a lot of the younger people are are um, don't even recognize what the cars are anymore yeah you know? so i i think yeah i think in 20 years it's pretty well going to be extinct what does that what does that do for car values like and stuff do you have any idea i mean does it like are the cars are you, are they getting the do the dollar they were like you know at the barrett jackson are they getting what they were like 20 years ago or 10 years ago when they were they're, high? they're actually getting more money now they are. but uh, okay. i don't know how long that'll last but yeah they're still they're still bringing uh, yeah. a lot of money it costs so much money to build one though from from stock like you know one of these yeah quality of cars it costs so much that uh and it, you can never get your money back. You may. I was gonna ask you that. You're better to buy one, you're right? You're better to buy one because you may get sixty cents on the dollar back. If no you're kidding. Lucky, but uh, you have because you have some over there. I got to come back again, man, because you have some stuff over there that it definitely deserves. I mean, you got something with it with over eight hundred horsepower. Right. Yeah. Right. So yeah. we definitely got to get. And of course, this one right here has been featured in the magazine. This is a Corvette nineteen fifty. 54. 54, right? And this is a beautiful machine. I can't believe anybody, you driving up past anybody and someone not looking at this thing, though, man. That is unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. I'm but getting, uh, I'm getting ready to take this one over to, we have a place over in Templeton, and uh, it's really nice to cruise through the wine, wine country and stuff. Oh, I'm sure. And, you know, yeah. So. How, how long are you going to keep doing this, man? Every time I came in here, you got a different shuffle of cars in here than the last time I was here. How long are you going to do this? Well, I keep threatening to quit, but actually I'm having... Um, two cars built right now no so kidding. i'm thinking after those two are done i'm done yeah and i just turned 70 so you still enjoy it though oh yeah no i i, I do but um you know i gotta quit somewhere along the line <laughs> <laughs> can you enjoy them all i mean like you have all these cars here i mean do you do you, do you do you take time to drive each one of them out not as much as i should but you know i just enjoy coming out in my shop in the evenings and uh, yeah. having a beer and Looking, you know, at them. looking at them, messing around with them a little bit. I don't drive them uh, as much as I should, you know. Yeah. You, you kind of take your favorite out and drive it, which they're all my favorites. So yeah. I try to drive them all every couple months anyway. So. Right. Very cool.